The NOCO Genius Boost Ultra Safe Jump Starter is extremely safe and easy to use. If your car won't start, you hear clicking or the lights and the electronics flicker, that is a good sign your battery is too weak to start the engine. Boost can safely jump start your vehicle in seconds, and we'll show you how. There is a main power button that turns the unit on and off, and the power indicator will illuminate when the unit is on. The battery level indicator will display the current charge level of the internal battery and let you know how much power is remaining. The 12 volt out port is the connection used for jump starting, and the manual override button is an advanced tool only needed in very special situations. But more on that later. Getting started is easy. Simply plug in the clamps and you're ready to go. You don't have to worry about touching them together. They are perfectly safe and no power will be delivered until they are correctly connected to a battery. This is all monitored and controlled by Boost's internal processors. Note that Boost is only for use on 12 volt lead acid batteries, but that covers the vast majority of cars, boats, motorcycles, trucks, and other vehicles. Before jump starting your vehicle, make sure the AC, radio, lights, and other accessories that might be using power are turned off because these added loads will only make the vehicle harder to start. To jump start a vehicle, just hook up the clamps to the battery. The red clamp should be connected to the positive terminal and the black clamp to the negative. If you accidentally connect the clamps backwards, don't worry, nothing will happen and you'll just see the error indicator illuminate. All you have to do to fix it is switch the clamps around to the correct position. Once connected, press the power button to turn the unit on. The battery level indicators will chase and the boost LED will come on, indicating boost is delivering full power to the battery. Wait about 20 to 30 seconds, then start your vehicle. If it doesn't start on the first try, don't worry. Wait another 30 seconds to allow your battery to absorb more power and try again. You can do this as many times in a row as needed, but most vehicles will start on the first try. If the vehicle doesn't start, chances are there is another problem like a bad starter, loose cables, or non-battery related issue. Once the vehicle starts, simply disconnect the clamps and you're on your way. But don't forget to recharge Boost in between uses, so it is always ready to go. Boost has a USB in port that not only works with the included 12 volt USB charger, but also with any powered USB port, like a phone charger or a laptop. It takes around three hours to recharge Boost, but it's safe to leave it connected while charging, and it can hold its charge for over a year. Boost also has a built-in USB out port that can be used to recharge any USB powered device, like a smartphone, so you never have to worry about being broken down on the side of the road with a dead phone and no way to call for help. And it can safely recharge a smartphone up to four times. The dual ultra bright LEDs built into Boost make for the perfect flashlight or emergency beacon. Press the light button multiple times to toggle through the different light modes. After a few seconds in any mode, simply push the button again to turn the light off. The manual override button is only meant to be used if the vehicle's battery is too low for Boost to detect. If you connect to the battery with Boost powered on, there are no errors indicated, the charge level indicators do not chase, and the Boost indicator does not come on solid. The battery is likely too low to be detected. It is important to note that manual override will disable most safety features, so you'll have to treat Boost like standard jumper cables and be careful not to touch the clamps together or hook them up backwards when using this mode. If you determine you are connected properly but need to enter into manual override, press and hold the manual override button for three seconds or until the battery level indicators begin to chase and the Boost indicator flashes. This indicates there is live power at the clamps and you are ready to jump start. We included this mode just in case you need it, but most likely you'll never have to use it. So we recommend ignoring manual override unless you know what you are doing. Finally, there is an additional error condition to be aware of. Boost is equipped with multiple internal thermal sensors that prevent the internal battery and its components from overheating and damaging Boost. In such a situation, the error LED will flash and the power output will be shut off. If this happens, let Boost cool off and rest. Keep it out of direct sunlight and move it to a place with cooler ambient temperatures. Boost will typically recover within a few minutes and automatically reset, ready for use again.
Although this is a rare condition, it can happen. The internal safety design prevents damage from occurring, but more importantly, keeps you safe. That is everything you need to know about using your NoCode Genius Boost Ultra Safe Jump Starter. We hope you never have a dead battery, but if you do, Boost will be there to save you. Learn more at GeniusChargers.com. Hi, I'm Justin from Wagon Tech, and this is the unboxing video for the Jump Boost V8 Air. Included in the box are the AC and DC charging adapters, the inflator accessories, the instruction manual, and the Jump Boost V8 Air. On the front of the Jump Boost V8 Air, you'll find a 12 volt DC plug similar to the one found in your car. It's perfect for powering your DC appliances such as coolers and heated travel mugs. This is the reverse polarity indicator. It will light up if the jumper clamps are accidentally reversed. Right below it is a 2.1 amp USB power port, perfect for charging cell phones, tablets, GPS, and other USB powered accessories. At the top of the device, you'll find a 200 lumen Cobb LED light that's perfect for use on the side of the road or for camping. Just below the Cobb LED light is the battery status button. With a simple press, you can see the remaining battery power. Directly below the battery status indicator is a charging jack, where the included AC or DC adapters are plugged into. When charging, a red light will appear. Once full, the yellow light will turn on. On the back of the jump boost, you'll find the battery safety switch, which controls the power to the battery jumper clamps, as well as the air compressor on and off switch, the 260 PSI air compressor gauge, and the air hose storage compartment. On both sides of the device, you'll find the two alligator clamps that are used to jumpstart your weak or dead battery. And that's the end of the Jump Boost V8 Air unboxing video. Thank you very much for watching our video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. Hi guys, I'm Kareem, I'm the Gulu Guru. Today I'm going to be showing you the Gulu G2000.
So when you open your box, you're going to get your Gulu G2000. You're going to get your smart cables. And the way they fit is you just have a tiny little flap on the side. You open it up and the port will only go in one way. So you plug that in, you turn the device on and you're ready to go. Now on the battery, you've got two little covers. One's going to be covering your positive port and one's going to be covering your negative. So we're going to put red to red, positive to positive, black to black, negative to negative. Now that I've done that, on the side of the smart cables, you have two little lights. One that says reverse and one that says correct. If you've got your cables on the correct way around, you should have a nice little green light on showing you that you're ready to go, you're ready to jump start the car. If, for instance, you happen to put your cables on the wrong way around, you're going to get a horrible little buzzer and a red light on the reverse cable sign, meaning that you need to change the cables back over and you put them on the system wrong. So once you've connected your battery cables up correctly, you're ready to go, you can see the device is on, it knows the battery's there, now you can just jump inside your car, turn the ignition key and off you go. If potentially you've got a completely flat battery and you need that, just that little bit more power, there is a little button on the side of your smart cable saying boost. If you press that in, it will dump in a little bit more power into the battery for you, just to build the system up a little bit more. Sometimes when you break down, it might be raining outside, but with this little product, you know fair well that you can do it safely and easily from the inside of your car. Now all you have to do is unwind the cable, find the port on the device, it'll say output 15 volts, 10 amps, plug that in, and then quite simply, just plug it into your cigarette lighter. Now sometimes, uh, in a lot of vehicles, you have to have your ignition turned on to make the circuit live, in other cars it'll come straight on. So if nothing happens, just turn your ignition on, Press the button, it'll light up, and off you go. I've been Kareem, good luck, and I hope you like the product.